Hi, brothers and sisters. So I wanted to come on and share something interesting that the Lord showed me a few hours ago. And I was sitting in my backyard and I looked up in the sky and I saw a chicken hawk and it was flying around and I immediately reflected onto one of Sister Kim Fisher's videos that she would see a hawk flying in her yard or above her home. I believe that's correct. So I went to go find it to see if I could find one of the videos where she was talking about that. And when I typed in uh, to go find her channel, it came up uh, Kim Fisher, Amanda Christ Dream, Amanda Christian. So I was like, huh. So I clicked on that and I saw a video, uh, what was it, a few years ago, of this. That was almost four years ago that I shared. And I was reading through it. It says, Awake vision in a dream, the day of the rapture. The Lord mentioned Sister Kim Fisher. And... I had a vision up top here about the trees, like times past, but something was different. Said of all the leaves being green and healthy, about half of them turned brown. And then I was shown the number 65 and 6555 means to break or divide in strongs. Next, I fell asleep, had a dream of looking at a sunny, nice, bright, sunny, blue sky. And then I heard what Sister Kim Fisher was shown about the start of the rapture. And then I was shown multiple starts of the rapture, but on the same day. It was like in different places. It was a sunny, bright, clear day. It's hard to explain. Then I put the end. And so I was like, oh, okay. And then I went looking around for the hawk thing and I didn't find that, but I did see that she had made a post that she heard a few hours earlier, the word Poseidon. And so I went and looked up Poseidon and I was looking at it, reading about it. Let's see here. And this is what I saw. It says Poseidon is a Russian, it's a Russian torpedo. It's a large nuclear powered torpedo designed to attack enemy coastal targets from thousands of miles away. Poseidon is about 65 feet long and 6.5 feet wide, making it the largest torpedo ever deployed. I said, Okay, the Holy Spirit just showed me something here. I just went down, I stumbled down a Holy Spirit trail with the 65 and the rapture and the nice sunny day. And lo and behold, look at this Poseidon. It's about 65 feet long and 6.5 feet wide. And look at here, shown the number 65, 6555. And I had a dream looking at a, what is that? What is, let me move this. Oh, it's a picture. Never mind. Fell asleep, had a dream. It was a nice, bright, sunny, blue sky, sunny day. And I heard the Lord say what Sister Kim Fisher was shown about the start of the rapture. And then I was shown multiple starts of the rapture, but it was the same day. It was like different, um different people's days and how the rapture started. It was a sunny, bright, clear day and it was hard for me to explain what I was shown. And I was sitting there thinking before all this, when I looked up in the sky and I saw the chicken hawk, I was thinking, wow, it's like really a really nice, great, I'm not saying it's going to be today, you guys, <laughs> but I'm just saying that I've saw, I've seen multiple videos of people saying this happened, the nuke hit, 
Now this thing is able to bring a tsunami, a nuclear tsunami that would wipe out miles inward into, uh, from the coast. Um, a radioactive tsunami that would cause like a 500 foot wave and would go inland for miles. And they're saying, like, they're saying, what I read was the UK as an example, the shore of the UK. And uh, a lot of these people that I saw like six, seven years ago, just trying to find through random people's dreams about what the Lord had shown them. Um, they were saying, well, we were next to the ocean. It was just a nice, bright, sunny, clear day. You know, nobody expected anything. And all of a sudden I looked out to the ocean and this massive tidal wave was coming. Or um, a missile started to drop. Or, But each person explained it. Probably five, six, seven dreams or so I had listened to. Each person had explained it that it was just a nice sunny day. A beautiful day, just a day you'd want to be walking around at the ocean or walking around at a market or uh, being at the park with your family or wherever. And so you guys, I don't, I don't know when, uh, when all this is going to occur, but I know pieces, pieces of the puzzle and God has shown many of us different things and we put it all together and, you know, come out the other end with little clues to certain things. And, but I know that the Lord showed me a few years ago, he spoke to me and he said, America is on borrowed time. And, um, <clears throat> he also showed me, spoke to me a lot of other things that we are at the end. Time is, is running out. Time is, is speeding up. And we see all these things happening around us. And another thing, too, is... Okay, I had to roll up my windows. I'm parked out in the country um, doing this video. But another thing, too, is that I wanted to make the other half of this video to ask you guys. And I've know I, I know I've made a couple postings. But to ask anybody that could help our family, we are in trouble. <laughs> That's all I could say. Um, a lot of the help that was given to us was, I mean, we used it to buy food and pay for, keep our car afloat so they wouldn't come and get it. And some of it went towards a pest control guy to come in. A couple times which we still owe on that and we had to take our fridge out we had to take our oven out we just got another oven put in um, our just everything our pipes are still clogged um, money that that I asked for help for that was used for other things that were we deemed it for other things what we thought we should take care of first while I was big fat and pregnant and people would say, well, why don't, why doesn't John just do it himself? Well, he has a massive softball sized lump on the back of his, at the base of his head on the back of his neck. And he's got the ball rolling to go see what's wrong with that. It's so painful and they're going to do a biopsy of it. <sighs> so... We're all worried about that. Um, just everything that could happen since last year to us uh, till now has pretty much happened. And now we have uh, baby Paul in the house and <clears throat> our, uh, they're going to have to open our wall up again. And... Um, probably go in through that way because I have stuck Drano and Drano and John has tried to do it himself while we designated other monies for other things. This has been a nightmare, you guys. My pipes aren't draining. Now my bathtub is clogged up and 
Uh, we're just trying to get it all together and get our plumbing's fixed and our bathtub draining <clears throat> and all, everything's clogged. And now our well is is not, is starting not to pump again. So it goes for a while and then it trickles down and then we have to shut it off and wait. So if I run a bath for Peyton, it'll only get like two inches and then I have to shut it off and come back and wait for it to pump back up again or the pressure to come back up and then turn it back on and continue to fill the bathtub. But now the bathtub's clogged and we have done everything we can to try to unclog it. We need to have a professional come in and redo everything or snake it or whatever type of uh, thing they do on it. And it's going to be a lot. I already know this. They quoted us almost 700 for underneath of our, just underneath of our sink and our well. I know that's going to be a few grand, probably 3000 because that's how much it was around the last time. Um, the pest control. <laughs> uh, yeah. And I try to get the good, best things at the Home Depot to spray for that. That did not work. So we had to call a professional for that. Just everything that could happen. And then using the monies that were given to buy diapers and formula and and John's um, unemployment. Um, sometimes that doesn't come for two or three weeks in between. So we were forced to live off the other monies that were given to us for that. Um, they cut the benefits in half. Just everything. They And now I can't get WIC. Um, everything that has could happen in my life well maybe not everything well, I don't know just about has happened I'm telling you the devil has had a heyday on our lives and I am trying to just walk by faith and not dig a hole and crawl in there basically <laughs> um, but if you guys could help us um, and share this video um, spread the word that we need prayers, um, especially with John, whatever's going on with him. We're praying that it is not cancerous. They're going to figure out if it is or not. I'm praying that it's not and that we get the things fixed that we need to get get fixed and um, get a refrigerator in there and things that we need. And uh, man, I'm telling you, he told me the second delivery would be like the first. And he showed me uh, my dreams and the things that I would go through. And this is a, I think it might be a little bit tougher than the first time. <laughs> when you're doing things for God and you're sharing things for God and the devil hates it. He will get in there and he will try to just trash your life. But I am walking by faith. And I know that uh, when all this mayhem and stuff happened in my life at the beginning of last year... He told me, behold, I make all things beautiful in my own time. And he said, when the devil comes in, the spirit of the Lord holds a standard against him. And uh, right now, I am so blessed because I have my mother there. She has been helping me with baby Paul and uh, just trying to get into a, a routine established. And she's been helping me just... When you have clogged plumbing, it's hard to disinfect and clean and clean efficiently. And it's just a nightmare right now, you guys. So I am begging. <laughs> if you could help to please continue to help us through this and pray for us. And uh, I will leave my PayPal link pinned in the comment section, please use that link because um, the email that is associated with my PayPal to pay directly, if you go directly into PayPal and just use the email, is not is different now. It's not the same one as it was before. So if you would uh, had helped me out before with that, don't use that. Just use the link that I put in the comment section. And I love you guys and please pray for us and I will continue to pray for you all. And God bless you.